Okay, we will be demonstrating the SOPO dice program for your SOPO robot. Uh, simply be sure to have your SOPO turned on, then come over to your computer, load the program. All you have to do is click the start button. It will automatically connect. Okay, I am now connected and ready to have fun. Press my A button or my B button to start the dice program. Now, of course, all we need to do is either do press the A button or B button to start the program. Just simply listen to Sopo. He'll give you the instructions from here on out. You don't have to go back to the computer to continue with this. I'll just choose B. Alrighty. This is my dice program. First thing, this is important. Press my A button if we are playing on carpet. Or press my B button if we are playing on a hard, flat floor surface. All right, well, we're kind of on a hard, flat surface here, even though it's carpet, it's indoor-outdoor carpet. So I'm just going to choose the uh, so, B button. Okay, I have adjusted my speed for any hard floor surface. Okay, I will be taking the place of your dice. Now, if you only need me to play with one of the dice, press my A button. However, if you need me to play with two dice, press my B button. Come on, let's play. Press my A button to play with one of the dice. Or press my B button to play with two of the dice. We'll just choose B for two. Okay, you have chosen for me to play with two dice. When you wave your hand in front of my chest sensor, I will randomly choose a number between two and twelve. Just as if you rolled the dice yourself. When you are ready, wave your hand in front of my chest sensor to roll the dice. Ready. All right, when he says ready, he'll sit there and kind of wait, just like this here, until you're until it's time to, uh, for instance, roll the dice. You don't physically have to roll the dice. You just wave your hand in front of his chest sensor, and he'll tell you randomly what you've rolled. See here? Let's see here. You rolled a seven. Ready. Okay, and keep continue on just like this here through the entire game. And of course, uh, if you chose the A button, he would have just, uh, as if you would roll with one dice. Alright, and then of course what you can do, is if you ever need to, you can come back to the computer and reset the program by simply coming over here, clicking the start button on the reset game box. I am resetting the game. Please wait. And he's resetting the program. He's reconnected himself over here. It's connecting. Okay. I am now connected and ready to have fun. Press my A button. Or my B button. To start the dice program. And there you have it.